Relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbeit for the week July 16th, 2012, entitled Cyberknife Healing. So here's the story. Four years ago, after experiencing some severe headaches and dizziness, I saw a neurologist who ordered an MRI of my brain. And a uh, small tumor was discovered. Uh, turned out to be a benign meningioma that was lodged in an inaccessible place on the brace of my skull. So I decided that uh, I could live with it and uh, we would watch it and the occasional dizziness was not that intense that I couldn't live with it. And over the next several years, uh, MRIs revealed that there was no growth, but recently my hearing has begun to fade a bit and my gait has become a bit less steady and the MRI revealed that the tumor now filled that narrow space and if untreated would destroy the nerve. 20 years ago this meant a difficult uh, brain surgical procedure and then an non-invasive alternative was discovered about uh, 20 years ago called a gamma knife, a high intensity radiation beam that could destroy the tumor. Uh, the procedure, however, required that your head be immobilized by screwing a frame into your skull to keep you from moving while that beam was delivered. The newest technology is called the CyberKnife, and that requires no screws in your skull, but just that a mask be made that is molded to your face, which is then clamped down to a table. The cyber knife delivers high intensity radiation with sub millimeter accuracy. And while it's doing that, it's also taking continual pictures of your brain in 3D that keeps the tumor in focus at all times. So that if you move, if you cough, if you sneeze, the cyber knife automatically recalibrates itself, keeping the beam always on target. The neurosurgeon, also a radiation oncologist, created the program for the treatment protocol. And it required five consecutive days of radiation. He introduced me to his technician, Steve, who would uh, deliver the treatment. Steve is a gentle, easy to talk to soul who sent me down, described how he'd create the mask, an exact replica of my face, that I would be able to breathe easily through it, although I would not be able to move my head or speak. I said I didn't like much that feeling of being trapped, but Steve assured me that it, if I had no problem with the MRI, that this wouldn't be a problem either. He assured me he'd be watching me during the entire procedure, and, and he would always be with me. He asked what kind of music I liked and that he would play it during the procedure. So last week I put on the mask for the first treatment and when he clamped it down, it was tight, but I mean so snug that I could hardly quiver my nostrils. Take a look at the pictures. That company to but my initial reaction was this might be more than I can handle and Steve saw me fidgeting and he touched my shoulder and said it's going to be okay breathe in slowly there is plenty of space in the mask breathe slowly see how easy it is and I'm right here I'm watching you you're not alone and I believed him I felt his healing hand and the Beethoven let me go into my quiet place and I was okay until my back started aching because 45 minutes is a long time to lie still and I needed to shift my legs and arch my back and that was the hardest part. Later I brought a sheepskin to lie on which made it a little bit easier. So I want to tell you this is the future of medicine. Early detection, prediction, prevention, nanotechnology and robots. Biotechnology can manipulate our bodies, however, 
It can cure tumors, but I want to tell you, it can't replace the need for human contact and healing touch. Making a relationship, a healing connection with the people in whose hands you place your life is the difference between healing and curing. A healer will touch your soul, will listen to your music and participate with you in the healing dance. I was cured and I was healed. So that's what I'm thinking this week. I also want to tell you, for those of you out there who are healers, by your own definition, October 19th through the 21st in Phoenix, Arizona, I will do a workshop that will be intended for healers interested in uh, magnifying their healing power to increase their uh, therapeutic repertoire. If you're interested, uh, take a look at my website. Uh, come and join me. To all of you on the healing journey, to my friends and relatives, I want to say thank you for your participation and your presence. I say this for all my relations. Mitakwiasi.